Today, July 22nd is a lucky day. We came across a huge herd of bison crossing the Grand Loop Road in the Hayden Valley. You usually see bison in the valley below the road. Visitors sit by the roadside in the morning or evening with their binoculars gazing into the valley for signs of wildlife and usually spot bison grazing in the field. Now, if the drivers stopped at a distance and left a gap in the road, the herd would cross the road and it will be over. But with so many vehicles and tail gators blocking the herd crossing, the bison get confused and their protective instincts get triggered. That is when bison interaction with humans can lead to mishaps. You can see the bison on the road being cautious. You see a couple of examples of cautious female bison next to her calf crossing the road together. Then the male bison crosses the road on the other side of the calf to shield it. These ancient creatures understand modern humans and vehicles in the park very well. The North American bison dates back to about 5,000 years. Millions roamed across North America until the 19th century. Now, there are about 20,000 in the wild and about 420,000 in commercial herds. In their peak, the bison population was around 30 to 40 million. The rise of European settlers moving to the west in the beginning of the 1800s brought increased hunting and competition between cattle. By the middle of the century, the herds were split in half due to the construction and completion of the Transcontinental Railroad. By 1883, the population was down to about 1,000. Another reason bison were going extinct was due to the U.S. Army campaigns that allowed for the killing of bison to control the Native American tribe's food source as a way to control the tribes themselves. Some former bison hunters, including figures like Buffalo Bill Cody and President Theodore Roosevelt, gathered the few surviving animals, promoted captive breeding and eventually reintroduced them to the natural landscape. In 1883, Teddy Roosevelt traveled to the Dakota Territory to hunt bison. After spending a few years in the West, Roosevelt returned to New York with a new outlook on life. He paved the way for the conservation movement, and in 1905, formed the American Bison Society to save the disappearing bison. President Roosevelt created five national parks and established the American Bison Society to preserve wild bison. Today, bison live in all 50 states. Now, look at the south side of this bison jam. The bison want to cross the road but are confused because the drivers keep closing their escape gap on the road. Fortunately, we didn't see any casualties but did hear that someone was gored on the north side of the jam. Enough of serious talk. Sit back, relax, and watch the fun. <laughs> 